so good morning everybody. Cold one today. You can see the frost on the grass here. Just coming up to the gorge waterway in the distance. This used to be a, a rail trail. This is called the Galloping Goose Trail. So the bridge up ahead has been painted on the underside. Not graffiti, civic art. As I take a well-deserved walk break. 56 minutes in so far on my half marathon run. I didn't put the chest mount on today because I wanted to be able to manipulate the camera so I could see if it was recording video or not. So there is a raven somewhere marking out his terrain with squawks. Alright, so another bit of running now. I'll be using my Sony later on, probably. Mind you, it's not at all windy today, so I should be able to use the camera audio. As long as I don't swing my arm around too much. Alright, so here we get to the painted bridge. Hi there. So this is Chappie here with the ivy growing on his face. They sometimes trim that back once in a while. Now you're going to get to see the gal and you're going to hear the acoustic anomaly. That is graffiti down there, up there, civic art. Hi. Just coming up on the Selkirk trestle. If I can do this just with the camera audio, it'll save me a lot of splicing and dicing. We'll see. I have that as a standby device today. But because I'm holding the camera, I don't really want to be holding the uh, voice cord as well. It'll leave me short of hands. So, nice tide today. It's not so nice when the tide is low because all you see is the mudflats. But uh, when it's like this, this is high tide. Not super high tide, but pretty high. All right, time to run over the Selkirk trestle. This will take me downtown to the inner harbour, which is where I will record some more video. That's a pretty nice rig. It looks like one of those rickshaws. It's electric rickshaw. He's probably happy with the surface conditions, having three wheels to deal with. This other person cycling person is watching the water, but it is pretty slippery. 
I was given my zone warning just then. One hour of moving time. I'm going to zoom in on those kayakers way off in the distance to end this first clip. This first clip so far is six minutes long. I got two minutes to go and I just heard a ping. So there's obviously Wi-Fi on this bridge somewhere. It could be coming from one of the many apartment buildings over there, but they're a bit far away. This is going to be right into the sun, I'm sorry. But that little island there is native property. It used to be a burial island for the local tribe, the coastal Salish tribe. Yep, I can feel my feet slipping on the frost here. As the sound of the city builds. The zone one, that was worth taking that walk break. It's given me the energy to run up this hill. Morning. Morning. And down. This is where I don't want to lose my footing. One hour and one minute done so far. And when I put the camera away, I have to remember to take a drink. I have mixed myself a homemade sports drink. Shipyard. Just getting down to the inner harbour area. I'm on the Esquimalt side of the river, of the gorge waterway, I should say. I decided to risk the lens flare from running into the sun to record some of these magnificent boats that are being serviced here. That looks like a Coast Guard clipper up in the sky there. The top the rigging is being painted or whatever. There's a better view in a minute once I get further along this chain link fence. Fairly sentinel. ever onward. I have seven more minutes to do on this particular cliff. Oh, just got a whiff of paint solvent. My heart rate will probably spike now involuntarily. Yep, Coast Guard. There, I'll give you a chance to read that while I catch my breath. Garde Cotier, Coast Guard. And you can see through the fence, if I zoom in, you'll be able to see where I started, Mount Douglas, way, way off through the bars. Okay, so I still have five minutes fifty on this particular clip. Let me zoom back in. Come on. Hard to work with gloves. 
at the best of times. Okay. There you go, the guys have a normal coffee break. So this is the renovated Bay Street, not Bay Street, uh, what's it called now? This used to be the Blue Bridge, Johnson Street Bridge, that's the right, the right name for it. It was always the Johnson Street Bridge, but until they built this new one, it was a blue turn of the century wrought iron job that lifted. That one still lifts, it has a lift mechanism to let the boats into the inner basin. There's a nice view for you. That's how far I've come. It's about 11 kilometers behind me now. I'm doing a half marathon today, so I'm gonna have a turnaround in about just over a kilometer. 9.92 kilometers so far. And my turnaround for 21.1 would be 10 point whatever. Yep, there's some ice down there on the side of the bridge. This is kind of slippery. I wouldn't want to be riding my e-bike today. I have to signal my intent so that the car drivers, not the car drivers, the, the cyclists know what's going on. This is new. They made this little mound here, environmentally sensitive area taking root. Yeah, this is all pretty new. Downtown Victoria in all its glory. As I zoom in one more time, I apologize to the audio crowd. They're going to be missing out a fair bit. That's, that's the government building. That's the provincial government building. That's the legislature, as it's called. The nice thing about being able to look at the camera is that I can see that I got 2 minutes 44 left on this clip. It might take me it might take me to the other set of totem poles. This looks like an impromptu shortcut. Yeah. For people who don't want to go all the way around there, they can cut across through the bush, through the hedge. That's been well trodden. As I continue to my turnaround point. You can see why Victoria is a destination city for tourists. This is the Delta Hotel, the Marriott. And there are the other totem poles. comfortably running in zone 2 at the moment, but very soon I will be given the turnaround message. Zone 3. Good. I can give you the benefit of a less jerky video. I'm not using my new wonderful phone for this video and still shots. I'm using just my old school point and shoot camera. I'm now in the last minute of this clip. So one hour 14 minutes. Average heart rate 132. 
as I pause once again with bare few seconds left, 34 seconds left still to record on this clip. Once I pause it I'll be able to record almost immediately afterwards. Hello. Hi. Alright, clip number three should catch the turnaround for me. Oh, there's a nice view for you. One of the many float planes. These things come in and out of Victoria every hour. They fly mainly to uh, Salt Spring Island, that one is. They fly mainly to Vancouver. 10.38 kilometers. That one has just landed. We might see one take off soon. Back to the run. I want to get my turnaround signal very soon. I think I put it in as a 21.2 kilometer run. So that way, going out to the ocean is the way that the Coho Ferry sails off towards Port Angeles. I, you can see from my shadow that I'm keeping my arm close to my chest. I hope you see those nice red fire bushes. halfway to my goal. As I turn the camera around and head back. There might be some more lens flare today. I am now heading towards the east, basically into the sun. feel the warmth from the sun. I'll turn the camera slightly away from the direct sun. Shouldn't make too much difference to the audio. The microphone is still pretty much the same distance from my chin. The camera mic, I should say. So, 3 8 24. I think at the end of this clip will be when I decide to pull the plug on this episode. I had to switch the orientation once again. It's always nice to know when you're on the return of an oven back. Hi there. Just beginning to warm up, eh? Yep. Okay, in short. I just had a zone four, so giving my heart a break. One of the reasons I brought my sports drink today was because I believe that the drinking fountains are off. I'm not sure about it. Yeah, you see, I would have been in big trouble had I not brought my sports drink with me. One hour 
19 couple of minutes. Start with minutes. 15 is my pace. It should bring me in at less than three hours for the half marathon. I'm being very conservative today, partly because I'm running heavy with a camera and a sports crank, and secondly because I'm wearing gloves and I don't want to lose grip of my wonderful little point-and-shoot camera. There's another little sun worshipper enjoying the spring rays. That's the Marriott. There you see the Johnston Street Bridge. So now I'll take another zone four walk break. I'm gonna go back exactly the way I came other than going through the hedge. There's, oh, there is another set of stairs. Yes, indeed. There is another set of stairs to get to this little ceremonial mound. We've virtually re reverted to the Stone Age again with our civic improvements. We have gone back to stacking rocks, stacking rustic rocks. One hour, 21. Hello. Yeah, back onto the mound. This isn't our beautiful mound, this is what would it be? Joseph Street ceremonial mound. Ah, I think I've done another diversion, deviation. Hello again. There was another path to come down. That's right. I want to be going over the road, not across it on foot. I want to take the bridge. This never used to be here. We always had to cross at that light. So this is the running jackal signing off as I reach the pedestrian bridge over Johnson Street. saying bye-bye for now. <laughs>